Look up at the night sky. For millennia humanity has stared into that vast, dark ocean wondering, are we alone? We've used the stars to navigate, to tell stories and to dream of other worlds. Today that ancient curiosity drives us to search for life beyond Earth. The universe is unimaginably vast, more stars than grains of sand on Earth. Statistically it seems likely that life exists somewhere else. Now we're not just wondering, we're searching, using powerful tools to peer into the atmospheres of distant worlds. We are the first generation to turn science fiction into science fact, becoming cosmic detectives in the process. The search for life forces us to redefine what life is, considering everything from deep-sea microbes to spacefaring tardigrades. Could life exist in methane oceans or breathe alien air? The possibilities are endless. As we search the stars we also learn about ourselves, our origins, our biology, our future. Every discovery adds a brushstroke to the cosmic painting we're trying to understand. The stars are calling and for the first time we have the technology to answer. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful eye on the universe. Webb's massive mirror captures infrared light, letting us see through cosmic dust and back in time. But its real revolution is analyzing exoplanet atmospheres. When a planet passes in front of its star, starlight filters through its atmosphere. Webb breaks this light into a spectrum, revealing the chemical barcodes of alien air. We're not just counting planets, we're sniffing their air from light years away. We hunt for biosignatures, chemical clues like oxygen and methane that could indicate life. On Earth, oxygen is constantly replenished by life, finding it elsewhere would be huge. Methane too is a tantalizing sign, especially if both gases coexist. But we must be cautious. Geology can mimic biology, so context is key. Webb gathers data to build a complete picture of these distant worlds. Each photon it collects is a clue in the search for life. Webb is our translator, turning faint starlight into a language we can finally understand. Where do we look first? Our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri. Orbiting it is Proxima b, an Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone close enough for liquid water. Proxima b is a prime target for Webb's atmospheric analysis. Its proximity means we can gather more light, making it our best shot at studying a potentially habitable exoplanet up close. But Proxima b isn't an Earth twin, it orbits its dim red star every 11 days, likely tidally locked one side in endless day, the other in eternal night. Life, if it exists, might survive in the twilight zone between extremes. Despite the challenges, Proxima b's Earth-like mass and location make it a powerful reminder habitable worlds could be common. It's our cosmic laboratory next door, a place to test our theories and hopes. The answers we find there will shape the future of our search. Proxima b is where the search for life gets real. Proxima b is exciting, but it's also a tough place for life. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri unleash powerful flares, potentially stripping away atmospheres and sterilizing planets. Does Proxima b have a magnetic field or a way to replenish its air? Webb may help us find out. Tidal locking means one side bakes while the other freezes. Only a thick atmosphere could circulate heat and create a habitable twilight zone. Life here would be truly alien, adapted to dim red light and fierce winds. Photosynthesis might use black or purple pigments to absorb the star's energy. The search for biosignatures is just the first step. We must rule out non-biological explanations. It's a painstaking process. No single eureka moment, just a slow build of evidence. The challenge is immense but the reward, knowing we're not alone, drives us forward. Proxima b tests the limits of our science and imagination. The search continues one clue at a time. Beyond biosignatures we search for techno-signatures, evidence of intelligent life. These could be industrial pollutants like CFCs or artificial lights on a planet's night side. Projects like SETI listen for alien signals, but so far the universe is silent. JWS can help by searching for heat patterns or other anomalies that might indicate technology. As of now we've found no confirmed evidence of life, biological or technological on Proxima b or anywhere else. But every null result refines our search and teaches us more. The absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence, we've only begun to explore. The galaxy is vast, and our tools are just getting started. The search for techno-signatures challenges us to imagine technologies beyond our own. What would a million-year-old civilization look like? We may not even recognize their signals. The hunt for cosmic company is just beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope is just the beginning. Even more powerful instruments are coming, like the Extremely Large Telescope and NASA's Habitable Worlds Observatory. 
These will directly image exoplanets and search for biosignatures with unprecedented precision. Each new observatory builds on the last bringing us closer to answering, are we alone? The discovery of life even microbes would transform our understanding of the universe and our place in it. It would show that life is a natural outcome of cosmic chemistry not a fluke. The search itself changes us, making us better scientists and more thoughtful inhabitants of Earth. It reminds us we're all crew members on Spaceship Earth, traveling together through the cosmos. Whether we find life or not, the act of searching is transformative. We will keep looking, keep asking, and keep pushing the boundaries of knowledge. The journey into the cosmic dark is humanity's greatest adventure and we are just getting started.